video I'm going to actually explain how to kind of use the C++ environment a little bit for people who are not really familiar with it so I guess in a way this is kind of a C++ tutorial but not exactly so anyways this of course is a C++ um, editor as you can see in front of me and I've actually got one of my um, header files already open here for scripting this probably defaulted to be open here so over here in the left hand corner you're going to see all the solution files these are the files that actually talk to the interpreter directly so the way um, the script book is set up there's uh, various different files which I could probably go into more detail but I'm not able to explain the whole concept of the script book since I don't totally understand it but as you notice when I clicked on this over here to the hopefully you can see this to the the left here we have all the files that are actually made up of the script hook everything from config all the way down but some of the more common ones that are actually used and if you actually look here in my includes and to kind of explain what the includes it includes actually take these files from here and they include them in here so that you can use actually functions and classes that are actually a part of all the other files as well and maybe files is the wrong word but I'm, I'm an old school programmer so this is kind of the how I look at it but anyways um, the native invoke right here this is a pretty popular one actually if I click on it here it'll actually populate up here and it actually you see it in the screen now so this actually gives you a little bit of insight about the natives this has a lot to do with if I'm not mistaken some of the natives that talk directly to the game itself I still don't totally understand everything it's I'm kind of um, new to C++ so a lot of this is not going to be very explained but some of the main files I want to focus on um, this is what's really important if you're first learning to become a C++ programmer we're looking at actually some of the more popular ones and one of the main things you're going to need to know about the C++ environment is you want to have header files the header files actually directly talk to the header files for example let's first of all let's open up um, the regular file this is just my regular one you've already seen this in the previous tutorial I had for custom fiber thread cpp which is actually the default for that so anyways this file itself is like your your starting file so as an example here I'll open up this file and I'll explain this in just a minute then I'll go over here to the header file and you click this little plus here and again I'm hoping you can see this over here and it drops down a, a new set of um, menus here and then you would click on the custom fiber thread dot h this file and this file they talk to each other of course this file cannot work without this file they're one in the same basically this file is actually the header and it's used to incorporate a lot of the stuff that you will see later in the cpp file so for example i'm gonna pull off um one of the things in here to actually explain this to you and i want to actually go into more detail about this route and i even want to explain some of my later my later tutorials I want to show like how to spawn objects cars and people and all that kind of stuff that's kind of cool in the game so anyways we're going to use this one as an example I'm going to copy it you, you might know I'm pretty notorious for copying stuff I really advise to copy stuff you can keep track of stuff more often use your control F here to keep track of what you're copying and just copy it in the window there and of course the compiler itself will keep track of it so basically I'm switching back over to also move between tabs you just click them at the top like they're kinda like anything you would see on the internet with tabs basically so anyways going back over here to stay on track here we're gonna look for the spawn global and actually I shouldn't have copied all this because this isn't all gonna be included in here so I'm gonna take out a little bit of this and just shorten it like that actually let's see what I did wrong here spawn global and always, if sometimes if you can't search and can't find stuff, make sure you're in, actually inside that window. I think I'm just going to take and make this a little bit easier on myself. I'm going to take this spawn global out. And again, I'm hoping you can see this over here in the right-hand corner. I might drop it down a little bit. I know some of these videos don't pull it in very well, so I don't want to hide the code either, but maybe that's good. Anyways, click on Find Next. And it's, again, it's going to search for all the occurrences of spawn global, and eventually since I've only got a few listed in there other than detailed explanation it, it found the function we were looking for so getting back to what we we're talking about this file itself the header file is talking directly to this file notice that this one is also included in this one as well so in order for it to make these work in C++ 
it is real important to make sure you include everything in your header file. You might get a message, for example, let me actually throw all the compiler error here to see what happens. I'll just take out and put like spa global or whatever. Oops. And you can also use uh, Control Z to move backward and forward. Control Z undoes and Control Y redoes everything. I love using those hotkeys; are awesome. Anyways, we're going to compile it now and see if I can get the error I'm looking for. Hopefully here. And you probably won't see it because this window's not capturing the whole screen here. So I might need to move this up a little bit. Hopefully you can see it here if I scroll down. Takes a second. Okay, you probably can't see it at the bottom here since I've got my screen kind of um, you know, down here a little bit. But actually at the bottom here, it is actually showing three succeeded, one failed, zero skipped. So basically it's saying something went wrong. When you see a fail, it means something went wrong. So I always scroll back up and of course I've got a lot of ambiguous code here that needs to still be worked out. I'm just too lazy to fix it. <laughs> Okay, and you see SPA Global. What it'll say is it'll say SPA Global is not a member of Custom Fiber Thread. And what this actually means is when you go back to Custom Fiber Thread and you look here, you see Spawn Global. We remember it was Spawn Global. Of course, when you go back here, you see SPA Global. It is not in here. So this compiler is saying, where is it? I don't understand. Now, we just go back and easily fix this. And you can also use this little X to clear everything in your compiler window there and just hit rebuild solution and I want to apologize if I'm not able to explain it in the most concise terms I haven't actually taken a course on C++ but I will be taking one this year actually on C sharp and maybe I'll even design a script hook and a net script hook because I'm really interested in that to see what else and how I can expand myself because um, C++ is it's pretty complicated I mean it, it takes a lot of work I wouldn't won't joke you around if you're don't have the patience I recommend starting with C sharp because C++ will really kick your butt so here's what we're looking at anyway now at the bottom here you won't might not be able to see it again but it's saying four succeeded zero failed zero skipped so this time it means I've got no compiler errors and I could actually run the program and it's com been compiled already into an executable file that I can use even inside the game of course if you want to me to explain that I can here real quick here I'm not sure if I explained this already but this is actually just um, the Windows uh, Explorer I love Explorer it's the easiest way to get through files on your computer and I'm using the old term on Vista XP it's actually known as computer if you click the start button and you click on computer it'll bring up this window and of course you just have to select inside the directories where you want to go and I already have mine defaulted to and this is where GTA is located guys and of course it's under your C drive see my C drive right there and then I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit kinda slow down here a little bit I know I can talk pretty fast I actually do it for a living so uh, program files x86 and you scroll down here we go and you look for Rockstar Games which is the install folder and you'll see Grand Theft Auto of course that's the main root directory where everything from Grand Theft Auto actually happens at so this is actually where you also do your ASA mods and down here is the name of the default AS mod for scriptbook the one I use is sam sample custom fiber ASI so you'll see that this is already copied here of course if you also I want to explain this. I have another folder set up here, and this folder right here is where I've actually stored my trainer. So if you go here, you'll see the list of all these are all the compiled files. And let me show you something real quick and kind of cool here. Okay, I'm going to shrink that a little bit, and we're going to clear this down here again. Oops, I hate how the windows go away. And then we're going to rebuild. Now I'm going to pull my window back up. Now watch these files change as the compiler is working through itself. You might not be able to see it at the bottom, but it's working the compiler here. I have to kind of move it back up, but watch. It'll build in this window here the files that are for the C++ program. And notice right there, sample custom fiber.dl. Now if you don't see any of these files building correctly, then that means you probably have an error somewhere in the program. And to kind of explain this, what you do and what I like to do is I go over here to sample custom fiber. Fiber, the DLL. You right-click it, 